There was a list of things that could have gone wrong that day, but being shoved down the laundry chute was not on it. Instead, we'll categorize this as job hazards. I banged and tumbled down the aluminum shaft, finally decimating a small wicker basket as I crashed onto the floor in a basement laundry room. Wasting no time, I leapt to my feet and charged up the rickety wooden set of stairs across the room, throwing my shoulder out in front of me as I barreled through the basement door and knocked it aside. The rogue clients were already fleeing through the kitchen as I entered. Without slowing for an instant, I immediately raced after them. One of them was already crossing the threshold of the kitchen into the entry hall, while the other was still circling the island. I planted my palm onto the small counter in the center of the floor and used my momentum to fling myself across the kitchen and slam my boot into his face, clotheslining him. Before the rear enemy struck the floor, unconscious, I was already in pursuit of the lead one. Snatching what appeared to be a priceless decorative vase from some sort of a shelf, I flung it across the hall. The urn rolled over itself vigorously as it arced through the air, striking the cranium of the target and shattering just as he was reaching for the doorknob. He fell limp on impact, but still seemed groggily cognizant as he fumbled to get off the floor. You thought you could get rid of me that easy? I asked, sprinting across the floor and crouching over him. Who the hell are you? he asked, terrified. What the hell are you doing in our house? And wh what the hell do you want with us? I've been trying to reach you, I growled sinisterly, lowering my face to his, about your car's extended warranty. Hey everyone, if you like this story, be sure to check out patreon.com slash fluidfiction for more flash fiction, short stories, and chapters. It only costs $1 a month to read my daily journal entries, and you get to suggest as many writing prompts as you want.